The name of the fourth letter in the Hebrew alphabet is Dalet. The Greek name for this letter is Delta, derived from the Hebrew name. But the Arabic name is Dal, suggesting the possibility that the original name of this letter was Dal and not Dalet. The word Dal means to hang low and is usually used in the sense of someone who is weak, one who hangs down low. The word Dalet, derived from the word Dal, means door which is hung down from the roof of the tent. The Dalet is a picture of a tent door which was a flap that hung down from the roof of the tent and allowed movement into and out of the tent. This letter represents the ideas of moving, hanging, and entering. This letter is pronounced D as in down. Some Hebrew words that begin with this letter are Devar, meaning word, Dam, meaning blood, Da'at, meaning knowledge, and Derech, meaning road. The original pictograph of this letter changed little from its early origins to about 400 BC and can be seen in the Tel Dan inscription that dates to about 850 BC. The same form of the letter remained unchanged into the Greek letter Delta, but did change slightly into the letter D in the Latin alphabet. Around 400 BC this letter evolved slightly and can be seen in this fragment from the Dead Sea Scrolls. This letter, the fourth letter in the Hebrew alphabet, became the number four. It remained virtually unchanged in the modern Hebrew alphabet, as can be seen in the Leningrad Codex, dated at about 1000 AD. We have now looked at the first four letters in the ancient Hebrew alphabet, the Aleph, Bet, Gimel, and Dalet. We will now look at a few Hebrew words that are derived from these letters. The word Av includes the letter Aleph, representing strength, and the letter Bet, representing the tent. Combined, these mean the strength of the tent, and is literally the tent poles which hold up or give strength to the tent, but is the Hebrew word for the father, the one who holds up or gives strength to the family, the household. The word ga is the letter gimel, a picture of a foot representing the idea of walking or gathering, and the aleph representing strength. Combine these letters mean a gathering of strength and is the Hebrew word for pride. The word dog is a fish. This is written with the letter dalet, a picture of the tent door and meaning back and forth movement, and the gimel, which is a representation of a foot. The combined meaning of these two letters is the back and forth movement of the foot. The tail of a fish, as its foot, moves back and forth to propel itself through the water.